Learning at Hops and Horn Point looks like a lot of things, but in particular I think you probably see a lot more collaboration than you might do in other places. So students working together to solve fairly complex problems, so we have project-based learning, but in more traditional settings we also have lots of group work and um, students talking about the learning. There's a lot of inquiry learning, so lots of students doing their own research about their own projects um, and then piecing that together, what does it mean, that kind of thing. Um, there's a lot of um, authentic context, so real world examples, so learning often is content but we tend to apply it and show the students why we're learning this, why does it matter, how does it fit into the bigger context of the world. I decided to use iQualify for two reasons really. Um, one, the content, the ESA content is New Zealand context based and that's often quite difficult to find and it just saves me hours of my life knowing that actually there's access to good quality stuff. The other side of it is the um, iQualify actual software um, it's good, it's just good. Um, it's, you can tell that it's designed for the students, it's really clear, it's consistent, it's easy to use, particularly for the students. The way it's like textbooks you would get in normal schools where you, you go through and you write things, but it's online, so it's easier to keep track of everything. Like, you can add notes and add links and that sort of thing, and you don't have to have a ton of pieces of paper, but it's still like a course, so it's nice to work through. Um, I think it makes me more organised like in my brain because I tend to be not a very organised person but this helps me keep on top of everything and then I can do my work in order as well so if I, I need to prioritise something then I can do that first. When they finish an activity um, too quick then they know they can go into iQualify or when they come into class we'll often start them on iQualify just to build up some background knowledge and then we'll go into doing some activities so it really enables you to let students just go with wherever their learning is taking them. So if a student is really quick and fast and they understand things quickly, they can go ahead or you can give them more depth or it, it just makes that autonomous learning thing so much easier. Stuff that you wanted to do before but you couldn't because you didn't have the resources or you'd have to invest stupid amounts of time. Yeah, I do like that you can take notes and like, because sometimes if like it's a big section of text, you can just like write a little thing there to say, like to point out what you might need for your um, for your assessment within that text. Yeah, that consistency across courses means that they always know where to go, um, and it frees up some of the cognitive load from the navigation to just focus on what am I trying to learn here. I really like the way it has the percentage on the file, so I know what I've been doing and how I've been doing it and where I'm up to and stuff like that really helps. With Google Drive I've always got all of my tabs open, like my emails and everything and I get distracted but with iQualify I can just sit down and focus and do what I need to do. I like the fact that it kind of makes you research it yourself, you know, it's not like doing an assignment where I just kind of copy and paste and hope for the best, it's um, I go through step by step and I actually learn along the way. I can actually comprehend what I'm doing and I know what I'm doing, it's not just kind of going through one ear and out the other, so yeah. Um, it does free you up to give you a bit of time back to do other things and I've certainly found because I'm not looking for content that it allows me to do other cool things with my time with the students instead, which is massive.